the landscape of battle is always changing. The United States military no longer defends only land, air, and sea. The war now extends to a global theater in a virtual domain. Before many of America's warfighters become soldiers, airmen, sailors, marines, they are cadets and midshipmen. Training tomorrow's frontline leaders in the cyber domain is a critical priority for national security. The National Security Agency Cyber Exercise takes place over three days. Cadets and midshipmen from Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, and Merchant Marines send teams to compete in a series of exercise modules. NCX simulations test defensive as well as offensive tactics. In cyber, blue marks the defensive side of the campaign, while red seeks out vulnerabilities, striking to dismantle or disrupt networks, systems, and operators. These are the type of competitions where you'd get to see what you would be up against as a future cyber officer in the military. It's huge for the government and for the military to have people who understand the nature of the cyber world and the significant risks that it poses. So if you start producing officers that kind of have a background in cybersecurity, especially being immersed in it within the academies, then you're going to understand the problems going forward. In 2018, NCX is held in Annapolis, Maryland, home of the Naval Academy since 1845. Good morning. Happy Cyber Monday. A fine day to fight the cyber wars. We begin with paper. Our goal was to take in two scenarios that we were given and come up with suggestions as to how cyber policy would be applied to those scenarios. And we were given about three hours to do this. So legal and policy frameworks that are used for interagency cooperation, and there's like five. EO13388, the National Intelligence Strategy. We don't know what to expect, and none of the other teams here do either but we tried to read through all those articles and all the references and documentation that they gave us as fast as we could and trying to answer a scenario or figuring out a course of action for a given situation and scenario. Yeah. I think that went okay. <laughs> do we analyze all of everything? Yes. Oh, all right, let's go okay, ahead. one, two, three, two, three. Right, let's do it. Stable it. Stable it. Yeah. He was grading our earlier oh, stuff. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Senior leaders from seven intelligence and defense agencies evaluate the first draft of each team's policy write-up. We knew Navy was going to be a little experienced in the policy realm just because um, I know their major, the cyber operations major, um, is more focused on that. I'm a cyber operations major here. It's things that we've learned throughout the last three years. In those classes, we also get into the structure of the government, how the agencies work together, and how all of that relates to current events. We talked a lot about defense in our scenarios, but as you well know, there's another side to the coin, that's offense. Teams receive final direction from their coaches. The academic coursework these professors teach through the year is now applied to the cyber exercise. Folks, five in the morning. I don't think there's anything else we can do in five minutes that's going to add significantly to this. Yeah. Framing proper rules of engagement and acting under clear authority are the often unrecognized hallmarks of the United States military. All right, folks, pencils down. You are completely the last part of the scenario. Please finish up your stuff, whether you're done or not. I know it's fun to be on keyboard, but all of these things on keyboard don't happen unless you have a law or a policy behind it or a president telling you to do something. So anyway, it's just something for you to consider. First. Second, third, oh, yeah, standing. NCX scoring is based on the best team finish in the module. The Naval Academy claims first and second. Coast Guard's bronze finish places them second overall, ahead of Army, Air Force, and Merchant Marines. 
the service academies must now regroup for the next stage. Let's just do this right down the row. Uh, Matt, go ahead, take table one. Tony, table two. G, table three. Mr. Pisani, table four. Hayward, table five. Trevor, table six. Bob, table seven. Kevin, table eight. And I'll give table nine to Jeff. Honestly, it kind of came across as a little bit of like, hey, this is a card game. This isn't cybersecurity. We're not on the keyboard doing anything crazy. When we first got it, we were kind of skeptical, like, oh, they're going to make us play cards. There's no way this can relate to cyber in any way. Why are we doing this? Still, the mentality and the actual methodology for a, for a hacker, for a cybersecurity specialist, is still there. Blue can never rest. Red has, always has the initiative for when they'll start the attack. It essentially mimics uh, hacking a network. So you had cards, you had objectives, you had point totals that you had to get. A lot of it was very reactive, especially if we were playing blue. So it was about thinking, what is red team going to play and how can we counteract that? Yeah, so we can play this on the way that you play different cards that represent things you do in real life. And the guys who are refereeing was telling us all these examples of how he's seen the different cards that we're playing play out. And so that was a good learning experience. They now have access yeah, so roll on the file server and the database server. Roll on like two. The most points you get is from maintaining persistence on the network. The backdoor root kit is successful. So you have to get in there, you have to stay in. And you get one, two, because it's your first one, three, because it's internal, four, because it's backdoor, and exfiltrate data. We didn't do too good in the policy exercise, but based on our past performance at technical events, we should do pretty good in the tabletop exercise. Air Force surges through Module 2 undefeated after three rounds. So does Army. Air Force plays well holding the red offensive cards, but playing as the defensive blue side in match four, they are forced to a draw by Coast Guard. All right, thank you very much. That is game over. The module is military academies to win, but module one winner, Navy, stands in the way. We noticed we were tied with the Air Force Academy, which we didn't think was actually possible, but then once we saw that, we were like, okay, we gotta hit these guys really hard. Are you guys ready, blue and red? This is a big yeah. match, this is for like the championship. All right, okay. what you wanna do, red? We were on the offensive side, so we could get a lot of points, and then we just went into it with a very aggressive mindset. Fishing on the workstation. They get to roll to be alerted. We had one designated dice roller. I was about to roll right now. <laughs> Don't roll yet. Doesn't have to do the single one. Nope. Oh my God. He stumbled in the beginning, but then he found his stride. Nice. The dice is flowing, you guys. You can have the luck of the rolls, but you have to have the mindset and the strategy in order to win those types of games. We prepared a lot by just kind of thinking through what a real attacker would do and what a real defender would do in response to those attacks. So we were able to see the board more broadly. Okay. Two. Sniffing it. They're sniffing you and look at the network. Blue team. Uh, Got it. Go password reset. No. Uh. The room gathers around the final table at play. Navy's defenses are vulnerable. An army is rolling to breach the network. It was a lot of luck. We were very lucky at the end as well, I think. Okay, for this one. Oh. Successful. Nice. Internal web server. Yes. Uh, not oh. successful. Oh. Not successful. Oh. Internal firewall. The knowledge that we've gained here really helped us craft our strategy. If today is any indication, I'm very excited as to how tomorrow's gonna play out. Army's perfect roll through the tabletop exercise edges out second place Air Force and third place Navy. With two modules complete, Navy remains atop the overall standings. Army moves up while Coast Guard and Air Force are tied ahead of the Merchant Marines. For the third module, service academies have a set window of time to conduct an offensive strike. To do so requires skilled operation and defense of a cube satellite. Teams use signals intelligence to find and track an adversary named Underhill. Then coordinate a strike using an unmanned aerial vehicle. 
It was a good way to move from the Polycene tabletop exercise to that space mission. Trying to get to the ground station, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm end mapping everything and it's showing all ports, there's no response. The space module. That one was um, a little unique because it incorporated both um, that strategy element and um, the technical element. We're a technically focused team. We don't do much of that strategy or operational planning. We already actually found the target coordinates. We're just trying to get the enemy satellite to go down now. He's working on getting into their enemy satellite. I'm working on taking down Underhill's communications, making sure he can't use the messaging app that people tell him where the UAV is. He's working on figuring out his location, and he's working on protecting our satellite. As teams maneuver satellites into position, they must avoid blue and red warnings. Low fuel levels or compromise by enemy cyber attack will leave the cubes dead in the air. The first one's gonna be terrible and we're gonna figure out what's going on and then successively, the whole point of this is that you repeat the mission over and over again so that you get better and better at it. So by the end of the day, we should have a really good idea of what we're doing and understanding how to use the different programs. Gonna get more on the keyboard rather than kinda talking about it and putting cards on the table. It's gonna get into Wireshark, Cali, SSH, like real, real technical stuff. The latest one at 1344. Yeah, we had that. We had a 44, okay, okay, but okay. I just got a newer 28 one. 28 minutes, we're, we're going to 27. So you guys have exactly um, one minute right now. So okay. Um, and then we do a router admin at 10.0.104.103. Uh, okay. Yep. He's pretending to be the social media site that the guy uses. And I'm trying to hack into the enemy UAV. I thought that we had an avenue that we could go through, but I think they shut it. We raided their compound. We got their credentials. It says that in the intel. We had two kills of Mr. Underhill for this round. Teams sweat through each operation. They have four rounds to gain experience and outscore their rivals. Academies are scored on mission plans and eliminating their target. But the target also scores with each downed Academy cube. Are we out of freaking safe mode yet? No. Okay. We're pretty disappointed about the plan that we had to turn in ahead of time because that's really hurt us right now. Uh, so I think the, this part of the competition is going just fine, but we're looking real bad on the scoreboard because of that. Yeah, we got to stop the enemy satellite from looking at him. We got to make sure our satellite's still up. How's right. merch break? It's military academy. Uh, we're a lot closer than we were last time to actually getting a missile strike on Underhill. We need to be a little bit quieter on the routers because that was the issue that just got us kicked off this router this time. Not many teams figured out how to get into that box because look how many points Underhill just got. Oh, is that Underhill's points? Yeah, yeah, that's the points they get from shooting down the UAVs. If you don't have policy, then you're not focusing on a certain aspect of cyber. Same thing with the tabletop. If you don't create a strategy, then you're not gonna be able to prepare very well. And the CubeSat satellites, tracking high value targets, live fire, trying to defend against an active attacker, it's all part of the same dynamic. Oh, bet we got the point. Exercise is now yeah. There we go. That's huge. Oh, That's man. Honestly, I thought everything was going wrong for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's Navy's third successful strike. Through planning and mission points, they earn the space module victory. Air Force hit big with offensive points to lead all academies in the live fire capture the flag scoring. But at the conclusion of the three-day NSA cyber exercise, one service academy claims the crown as the smoke of battle clears. Keeping the overall NCX trophy in Annapolis, Maryland, as well as a celebratory visit to the White House, are the rewards for the U.S. Naval Academy's hard-fought win in the 2018 National Security Agency Cyber Exercise. Since I've been here for four years, we've won it you know, three times. So, I mean, that's a pretty proud accomplishment for me, especially with me leading a team this year 
That was it's kind of like my ultimate goal, right? Our, our goal going into every season is to win this competition. We go out there, we compete, we have fun, and then ultimately we win. We really enjoy what we do, and we do it day in and day out. So I've been pretty proud of that. I've gathered up my staff for this next year, and we are starting to look ahead. We're really happy that we won, but we can't stop now, otherwise the other teams are gonna pass us up, and we can't let that happen.